Beijing is a city reinvented, transformed by the hopes and dreams from the fastest growing economy on the planet. The pace of growth is calling millions of people from lives of agriculture to come looking for a future of prosperity. It's a big gamble, and one on which millions are willing to bet it all. Leaving lands where for generations families lived in one area and packing everything for a chance to make it in the capital city is repeated every day. Arriving here brings an uncertainty of coming to a place that is a world away from the lives they once knew. The call of a better, richer life rings loud throughout the countryside. But the opportunity to take part in China's rush into modernity comes with a price. New lives start without a family to count on, without jobs to depend upon, and without a safety net to fall on. On the southern outskirts of Beijing, where many of the migrant workers come to settle, the Dandelion School is helping families work toward that dream. Where many families cannot afford the Huku registration fees to attend public school, Dandelion gives the children of migrant workers an education, a center of stability in an otherwise chaotic world. They are facing a lot of challenge in uh, studying. The other thing is uh, they are very confused. Most of the kids are very confused about what they can do, what's their next step in Beijing. The Dandelion School unites students from across the country to improve their academics and help them focus on their career. They learn with others who come to Beijing in similar situations. It's a big step forward in the education of the students who attend Dandelion. But even after graduation, students from rural areas face the challenge of finding work. That's where Mercy Corps found an opportunity to help. By starting a vocational training program called School to Work, Mercy Corps helps to bridge that gap for young people to help them find a better future. From the countryside to the big city, they maybe lost their way. Uh, they don't know how to live in the big city. They don't know how to develop their career. Uh, so. Uh, our school to work project uh, to helping them to help them to fund their uh, uh, dream, fund their potential talent. With a year of vocational training and help in finding work, students who leave school to work have better opportunities and a stronger self worth to enter the working world. Uh, their family needs their help. They have to make a living right away. They don't have. They have no. They don't have the luxury to spend another three years in school. This is a, the financial pressure. When Zhang moved to Beijing after eighth grade graduation, he found a job at a clothing manufacturer, ironing clothes, where he often worked in conditions that exceeded 100 degrees. For junior high graduates, it's not easy for us to find a job. Usually we are introduced by our relatives to get into some factory. Through the school to work project, I have the chance to work for some international companies uh, where we can learn more skills with better working conditions and we can get legal jobs. That's the difference. He and his roommate cook food before they get ready to leave their home for the night shift at a fiber optic cable manufacturer. His half year of training at school to work helped him find a better job. My goal is not too big. I just want to honor my parents and give them the best life possible. That is my biggest dream. By focusing on job training and retention, School to Work prepares adolescent youth to compete for higher skilled jobs with more pay. A dedicated youth employment coordinator works with students and their families to help them find sustainable incomes. We develop some courses like uh, computer skills, English skills, and the Chinese writing, and also some uh, uh, life skills uh, like uh, financial, some basic accounting, 
uh, something like that. Xiaoman came to the Dandelion School from Henan Province. After graduating from middle school, I went on many job interviews. When I got a job, my supervisors were not very pleased with my performance because of my limited skills. So after graduating from the school to work project, my situation improved, although I still have many things to learn. Now she sells premium home furnishings. Without the help of Mercy Corps' school to work program, she never could have afforded to pay for further training. I thought about other schools, but the tuition was very high and the teaching quality was not particularly good. Compared to the other programs, the Dandelion School was a good choice. I've never had a job like this before. Now my family doesn't have to worry about me, whether it be my physical or mental well-being. Art covers the Dandelion School. It offers students a chance to remember their homelands and to resolve the difficulties of leaving their old lives behind. It's the gate of Dandelion School. It's colorful, you see, and it's very bright. We can see the, uh, the student is, is very energetic and uh, hard work or uh, something else. Uh, art can uh, help them think help them to find their own confidence and to help them uh, realize their surrounding, for example, their peers, uh, value for them. And that's a good way to empower students. Wang Ru has been trained in tea ceremony performance. She returned to Dandelion as an intern after graduating from school to work. When the first time I came here, I was so impressed by the campus. There were so many painted flowers on the wall, which are so beautiful. I was so moved and touched by the kind teachers and students here, so I decided to stay in the School to Work project to get more training. I really want to stay here as a formal staff teacher because I really like the students' smiling faces. It always makes me feel warm, so that's my next step. One step at a time, Beijing's migrant youth move closer to finding jobs, finding hope, and finding their place in society. With training to start their young careers, the floating population doesn't have to drift any longer.